WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day. We've got markets in negative territory. S&Ps right now, negative by 19 points, trading at 29.33. Get the Dow off 114 points, trading 26,612. And the NASDAQ, negative by 80 points, trading at 79.25. Gold contract up $8 at 14.26. We've got oil up 12 pennies, 58.01. We'll get the API number tonight, 4.30 Eastern Time, EIA inventory number tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern for accrued. Ten-year note up six ticks, 128.04. 30-year up 15 ticks, 155.28. And the dollar index up 148 ticks at 95.635. We'll start things off, and we're going to start it off with the news of the day going on right now. So you have Fed Chairman Powell. He is making a speech, already made his speech, actually, to the um, – he's making a speech on discussion of the economic outlook and monetary policy of the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City. That speech taking place at 1 o'clock. He's taking some questions right now as we speak. To fast forward to some of the remarks that he had for 1 o'clock, I'll scroll up. So there are some takeaways. Um, sticking very closely to the remarks he made last week's press conference, uncertainty over global growth linked to international trade disputes is causing the Fed to consider cutting interest rates. Still, Powell makes clear in two ways that a rate cut at the July 30th to 31st FOMC meeting is not a done deal. So with that in mind, the market having that in front of it, Powell's still taking questions. We'll jump over to the charts. Dow 30, currently near the session lows, trading 26,628, dipped briefly below at about 1 o'clock, right on those remarks becoming public. Excuse me. S&P 500, much the same. We get a spike right at 1 o'clock when his public remarks become, uh, when his remarks become public. The S&P sitting right back at that level 29.32. NASDAQ 100, 76.59. You can see the spike on all of the indices right at about 1 o'clock when those remarks became public. Crude oil, right above $58, 58.01. Gold contract with some volatility on the Fed speak as well was up there at 1440 just four hours ago. You have gold trade down $25 to 1415, back up to 1427. Gold with some volatility. That seems to be the case for sure. And the Euro US dollar as we get some currency action on Chairman Powell. And also you had Fed Governor Bullard out there talking about 50 basis points being not in the cards, as in if anything, it's going to be 25 basis points. So lots to digest on the Fed speak arena. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to man Dave White coming up right now at the Power Trading Hour. Should be interesting with Chairman Powell out there still taking questions. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Have a great Tuesday.